Taiwan's defense forces recently made a strategic shift from focusing solely on air and sea protection to bolstering its land-based military. The shift is likely an outcome of the CSIS working predictions, which found that Taiwan would suffer greatly in any amphibious invasion attempt by Chinese forces opposed by Taiwan, U.S. and Japan's militaries. According to the Center for Strategic and International Studies, CSIS, an invasion would result not only in immense losses for those countries involved, but also leaving economic repercussions lingering long after hostilities cease. Under current circumstances, the U.S. assesses Taiwan's naval and air forces to become powerless as soon as a war begins. This means the battle will extend to Taiwan's proper, which cannot be avoided, indicating that combat on land will become the key. The report further predicts that in the case of an invasion from China in 2026, the U.S. is set to lose up to 20 warships along with thousands of service members. Taiwan would also see a devastated economy, while the Chinese Communist Party would see its power destabilized after failing to launch a successful invasion. But what would happen if Taiwan doesn't have the assistance of the U.S. military? I think that the CSI's report centers on asymmetric warfare in recent years. This official direction may place emphasis on our precision weapons, especially longer-range ones, anti-ship missiles or some asymmetric warfare. The Army may need to further strengthen them. The core of asymmetric warfare is the emphasis on ammunition and firepower, rather than the use of large platforms such as warships or fighter jets to carry such weapons. Accordingly, the U.S. is expected to reduce its sales of large warplanes and warships to Taiwan. As for Taiwan's army, which has always lagged behind in tactical defense, the U.S. military will now place it under strict scrutiny, carefully inspecting the training and the equipment used. Even so, the CSIS report emphasized that the best thing is preventing a war from breaking out, meaning Taiwan needs to focus on further strengthening its deterrence too. Nicholas Gu, Li Huanglong, Vivian Xiao, TVBS World Taiwan.